My name is Aya Elizabeth. Welcome to another review episode. And this time again, it's about your questions and your queries via emails and on the blogs. You guys want to know which one is healthier, sugar or honey? So what makes you decide to go for honey and what makes you decide to go for sugar and why do you think honey is healthier than sugar or sugar is healthier than honey? Hmm. Did you know that even if you're not eating any sugar, I mean if you're not eating any honey or any table sugar, you eat sugar every day anyway because sugar comes in various forms in different kinds of fruits and foods and vegetables. All right, let's talk about the kinds of sugars that are offered to you in restaurants or that you find in various homes. You have the white sugar, the brown sugar, and the raffinated sugar. Now, these sugars only differ from each other in the percentages of sucrose. So, according to how much it is processed or refined or cleaned up, you have more sucrose. So, your brown sugar has less sucrose than your white raffinated sugar. is made up of sucrose. Sucrose breaks down in your body into fructose and glucose. So fructose is the kind of sugar that you have in your fruits, in honey, and in your vegetables. So when you eat honey, um, you eat in glucose and fructose. And when you eat sugar, you eat in sucrose, which now breaks down into glucose and fructose. Comparing honey and sugar from an industrial perspective, honey doesn't go through as many raffination and cleaning up processes like sugar. Uh, sugar goes through a lot more processes to become what it is from sugar cane. So you can argue that um, honey is not as processed as sugar. This is brown sugar. And it is brown because it has not been completely raffinated like the white sugar. So it doesn't go through as many cleaning processes as the white sugar. Uh, the same occurs to dark honey. You can clean it up uh, industrially to get a lighter version, but then still there is natural honey which is just darker in color because it's wild honey. Or you have blossom honey which is maybe a lot lighter than the darker one. Now, if I compare sugar and honey from a glycemic index perspective, I would say that they're both in the medium radar according to the glycemic index, which rates how the carbohydrates in your food boost your blood sugar level. Honey also has less calories than sugar. And apart from that, honey is sweeter than sugar, so you might need less honey to sweeten your meals than sugar. Now, from a health point of view, there are no vitamins in honey. The vitamins are so insignificant, it's not worth mentioning. So if you've been eating a lot of honey because you think it's got vitamins, darling, I'm sorry, I just have to bust your bubble. So you don't need to eat honey if you're thinking about vitamins, neither is sugar. Let's wrap up this review episode. Now, think about the foods that you eat and you definitely want to put sugar and honey into. And ask yourself this question, is it really absolutely necessary? Let's talk about coffee and tea, for example. I drink a lot of tea and I am really, really used to drinking my tea without any sugar nor honey. The pure taste of herbs is just really, really beautiful and it tastes so natural. And maybe you need to just start appreciating the taste of nature. So I just enjoy the pure and natural taste of herbs. You might want to start doing that and start gradually cutting out sugar from your foods uh, where you don't need it because you already have a lot of sugar in what you eat for breakfast and lunch and dinner anyway, except for foods like proteins. My name is Aya Elizabeth. It was great to have you on this review episode. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. So let's have a look at glucose honey. Yay! Yay!